Op Center is a tool you can use to control your clusters from a friendly browser-based GUI. You can configure your data centers and nodes, monitor your cluster's performance, and manage routine care and feeding of your clusters. Technically, there are two products, Op Center and Lifecycle Manager, but we often refer to them as just Op Center because they are tightly coupled. Lifecycle Manager focuses on configuring and deploying your clusters. Op Center handles all the rest of monitoring and management activity. These show up as two separate tabs in your browser. Let's talk about the topology of Op Center process. When you run Op Center, your browser talks to an Op Center web server, and the web server talks to an agent process that's deployed on each of your clusters. These agent processes communicate with the DSE Cassandra process via JMX and native transport interface to update settings and monitor various aspects of your nodes. You can run the web service virtually anywhere, in the cloud or on-premise, whatever makes most sense to you. Of course, we support encryption on all communication channels, as well as LDAP authentication for Op Center access. This architecture allows you to manage multiple clusters all from your browser in a safe, secure, and easy way. Here are the main configuration tasks. Configuration, meaning determine the settings of your clusters, data centers, and nodes. You can load DSE software onto nodes, including Core Cassandra, Datastax Enterprise Search Analytics, and Graph. You can also start them. Configure all nodes from one central place so you don't have to SSH into each node separately. You can add and remove nodes to and from your cluster. You can perform software upgrades, meaning loading the software and performing a rolling restart without downtime. You can also change cluster security settings, load certificates, etc. On the left, you can see the various settings you can configure with Lifecycle Manager. We show here that we have selected the clusters option, which allows you to create clusters, data centers, and nodes. You can see that we are using Lifecycle Manager to manage a single cluster with a single data center of three nodes, but you can manage many of each. The green check mark means the cluster, data centers, and nodes are all successfully installed. The pane on the right shows the details of the data center. You can also click on the cluster or any of these nodes to see their details. To add a cluster, data center, or node, you click on the little plus sign and fill out the forms. Pretty simple. Notice the ellipses. These let you edit the configuration, install or delete the cluster, data center, or node. The jobs option on the left lets you monitor configuration activities such as installing and starting software, etc. SSH credentials let you configure your username and encryption keys for accessing the clusters. In addition, there are other security settings to allow you to configure internode and client-to-node authentication and authorization. Generally, this is site-specific and well beyond what we will cover in these slides, but be aware of this capability and check the Datastax documentation and your favorite solution engineer for further details. Repositories let you set up URLs for downloading Datastax Enterprise software. You can use the default Datastax repo or configure your own. Config Profiles allows you to create node templates. You can define a template and then use it to configure multiple nodes, alleviating the repetitive drudgery when setting up clusters and nodes. Obviously, there's a lot here. This is a powerful tool that will simplify your administrative experience, however. Ops Center lets you monitor your cluster with the following features. There's a dashboard that shows graphically, at a glance, the health of your clusters, data centers, and nodes. Customizable Charts helps you visualize various cluster metrics such as utilization, latencies, and loads. You can configure Op Center to send you alerts when important events occur. You may want to look at trends to anticipate issues before they occur using Op Center's capacity service. Op Center's performance service lets you monitor performance and also suggests recommendations. Here's what the nodes view looks like from the Op Center monitoring window. From here, you can see the general health and operation of your cluster. If there are significant problems, this view will let you know about them. Here's a dashboard view. The dashboard lets you see, at a glance, specifically the things you may be interested in. In the center of the display, you see several widgets that show various metrics such as request counts, capacity, 
latency, and utilizations. You can customize your dashboard by adding and removing widgets and graphs using the dropdowns in the top right. These are the services that help you with routine tasks. Node Sync and Repair Service both target replica consistency. Repair Service is legacy, so your best practice is to use Node Sync. However, they can be used together. See the online documentation for details. This best practices section audits your cluster for the use of best practices and notifies you of violations and recommendations. Capacity Service helps you with trend analysis by collecting statistical data and projecting future capacity and performance. Performance Service collects statistics and makes recommendations to improve performance. Use Ops Center to schedule and manage backups and restore from those backups as well. You can do this across all Datastax Enterprise clusters. First thought that comes to your mind, why should I do backups? Doesn't replication take care of it? Replication does not mean you don't need backups. Use backups to guard against data corruption, user error, and other forms of data loss. Ops Center Backup Services supports a wide range of functionality, including ad hoc snapshot backups, scheduled backups, commit log backups, etc. Ops Center gives you one easy central way of performing backups. Here are some of the highlights of the backup service. The service lets you work through a single UI so you don't have to SSH into each node. You get a comprehensive backup strategy that ensures full data protection, including backups of commit logs, and you can specify retention policies on scheduled backups. The backup service can back up your data to a local server, Amazon S3, or a custom location on the local file system. You can save space by compressing the backups. If you need to restore from a backup, the backup service lets you perform a full table level or point in time restore for a cluster. And in the off chance that your restore should fail for some reason, you'll be notified. Sometimes you may want to get a copy of your production data in its development environment. You can use the backup service to clone the data between clusters or from other locations like Amazon S3 or your local file system. And the backup service provides detailed reports on all of these backup and restore activities. You can restore data to a cluster from a local key space backups and backups stored to cloud storage providers like Amazon S3. You can restore all key spaces or only specified key spaces and tables. Notice that you can restore data from one cluster to another, even if the clusters have different topologies. A point in time restore uses commit log archives to restore data from a backup to a specific date and time. Node Sync is a Datastax Enterprise feature that takes the hassle out of keeping your replicas in sync. It runs continuously in the background. You must enable it at the key space or table level. Ops Center lets you monitor Node Sync progress. Repair Service is a legacy approach that allows you to target subranges, so use Node Sync. As I mentioned earlier, the Repair Service is a legacy service. For most cases, you will want to use Node Sync instead, but we'll explain the Repair Service just so you're aware of it. The term repair is overloaded. Think of repair as synchronizing replicas. Synchronization is a hard problem to solve. Repair is how Apache Cassandra solves this. Sometimes you may want to perform manual repairs. Ops Center Repair Service simplifies this for you. The repair service is configurable. You can specify the cycle time to trade off performance impact versus the repair window. You can use subranges or incremental repair. It can run in parallel or not run to limit the performance impact. Your cluster may seem to be running well today, but what if there were lurking issues that was about to bite you? Nobody wants to hear I could have told you that after the fact. Ops Center's best practice service is that expert that explains what you should be doing to avoid problems. Best practice service is an expert system that periodically audits your system, identifies problems, and helps you fix them. It's easy to use and has no performance impact on your production clusters. The capacity service helps you forecast trends. It is so easy to use and so well integrated into Ops Center that you might not appreciate its impact. To use it, just click on the drop down on any of the graphs in the dashboard and select Forecast. 
That's all there is to it. You can select a time frame for the forecast and then see the graph as it projects into the future. If only we had one of these for the stock market. I'm not going to read the slide to you, but as you can see, performance service watches how your cluster performs, analyzes what's going on, and makes specific recommendations when appropriate. As your cluster ages, queries that may have been initially fine may slow down as the data scales. Performance Service identifies these queries and helps you understand where the problems are. Performance Service also helps you analyze and diagnose table performance issues. You can see read and write latencies as well as SS table read ratios, partition sizes, etc. You can see metrics at the cluster or the node level. Monitoring thread pools can help you diagnose pathological problems with your cluster. As long as things are working well, the thread pools will not be interesting. But if you start to see problems, thread pools may help you understand the cause of these problems. This is especially useful for deployments pre-Datastax Enterprise 6, where thread pools are the fundamental concurrent mechanism. Version 6 uses an advanced performance feature assigning one thread per core. You want to know when important events occur in your cluster. Ops Center can send you alerts when events you specify occur. You can configure email alerts, post alerts to a URL including HipChat post URL, or integrate with an enterprise reporting system by enabling SNMP trap alerts. All alerts contain information about each captured event. Optionally, you can configure Ops Center to send alerts for selected levels of events or specific clusters. Each alert can contain a lot of information. I won't go through all the alert fields here, but you can find a good description of each of the alert fields on our documentation.